Yo guys, Aquadolus here. Um, as I said, I have a special video for you guys, and uh, I'm essentially since I can't do deck, pro I can't really do a deck profile of mine. I want to show you guys how to play something. So, um, I want to talk about the Thunder family because we did get a couple new cards for just generic Thunder support. Um, and I do want to like just like talk about how you could use them. Um, and they kind of help these guys out. So, I thought it'd be interesting. Uh, these cards are really hard to get, surprisingly. Uh, they're really old, but they're cheap. But because they're really old cards, uh, even on TCG Player, a lot of the more main sellers don't have these. So, um, it's kind of hard to get. Uh, I managed to find one seller who had all of them first ed, and I paid, I think, a little over 450 for it. Not, excuse me, not that bad. Uh, pretty good. Um, but what they do is you have uh, Pa Hunter up here who gives you an additional normal summon when he's normal summoned. Ma Hunter does the same thing. Uh, the only th difference is uh, they do have a drawback to where if you play Pa Hunter, you can't normal summon another Pa Hunter. And Ma Hunter does the same thing, except it can't be a Ma Hunter, so you can't go Pa Hunter into Pa Hunter. They don't want you to do that because uh, that'd be busted. Um,. Then you have uh, Sis Hunter, who lets you uh, add one for uh, banish a light uh, thunder monster from grave. You add it to your hand on a turn, and then uh, Bro Hunter, who's the newest one, uh, lets you get one from deck to uh, deck to hand. So they're pretty good. Uh, they have some recyclability amongst themselves. So. Uh, Usually the most common thing people mix these with is Watts, specifically. Uh, I think it's Watt Beta and uh, Watt Giraffe. And Watt Giraffe's really good. I don't have any copies of him right now. Uh, he's kind of expensive for budget players. Uh, he's essentially $7, and he can attack your opponent directly, and... Um, you, your opponent can't activate any card effects, spells, traps, or monsters effects until the end of the turn. Uh, if you play them, I'd recommend getting uh, Watt Giraffe, though, uh, at least. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I've been uh, congested really badly all day, so please excuse that. But uh, if, if I blow my nose or something. Um, but So that's basically how you play uh, these guys' effects. And I have some stuff here I want to show you guys could run with them. Because I I do feel like these guys do have a lot of potential now. Especially with the uh, new cards that we've gotten recently. Um, from, what was it, Soul Fusion. Uh, and the, uh, there was one card that came out, uh, I think it was Code of the Duelist. And it was also in the Megaton. Where is it? Uh, where is that card? I know I had it. Uh. We have this, and then we have, so, I mean, these guys do have pretty good potential for some crazy link plays, especially using the new cards from Soul Fusion. Um, you can basically link, and then revive one guy, revive one of your uh, Thunder Monsters, and then banish one from Grave Special Summon, and then, you know, uh... Ascended of the Thunder, you pay 3,000 special summon him. He's a level 7, and I do want to know, uh, I do want to say this, uh, since he is a level 7, you do actually have some access to, uh, hold on, stack, um, into Galaxy Tomahawk, um, you do need two level 7s, so, looking around, uh, I feel like the be the other best level 7 to run is, I think it's called Light Ray Diablos or something like that. Uh, you banish four, or not banish, uh, if you have four light monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon him, and he's a level 7, so he does have a little setup you do for him, but uh, that and this, make Tomahawk, spam them tokens, you can get some crazy link plays off. Did want to uh, make that known really quick. Um... And then, if you do decide you want to go more of a link play style with the deck, 
You do have the two. You do have Thunder Dragon and Toon uh, Thunder or Cyber Dragon and Toon Cyber Dragon. Um, that's really what I have to recommend for you know the more link, uh, link spammy version of this. Uh, and then you know oh uh, oh you also do have uh, Blue Thunder T forty five. Uh, this is honestly a really spicy card in my opinion, and I honestly I honestly kind of want to play with it. Um, but if you are doing the uh, link spam, you could essentially uh, bring this out, and then you could also play another spicy tech card, since the deck does do a lot of summoning. Play uh, United We Stand, swing over something, and then just, you could keep him on the field and keep making tokens. Um, so he would always be like a really strong token generator. Uh, something really cool I just kind of thought about, uh, but this card, uh, I do want to say this guy is actually really cheap. Uh, his highest rarity is the Shatterfoil, and I think I paid like 25 cents for it. Uh, but, I mean, it's a really spicy card, I would say. Honestly, right now, he's probably, honestly, pretty decent, uh, mixed with a couple cards. Um, that's really all I have for, like, you know, if you want to do more of a Link, uh, link spam. Uh, another interesting tech, if you want to run, could run Thunder, uh, Thunderclap uh, Skywolf. Uh, actually, a friend of mine recommended this to me. Uh, he's a little, ex he's a little pricey. Well, he's like two dollars, uh, but pretty good. Um, the only issue is we're uh, bringing him back from the grave. Um, and then you know you would want to run uh, if you want to go more of the uh, kind of like the route with the Watts. You know, you do want to run your honest or your honest run like a playset of them. Um, and then, you know, you want to run your Wabakus, uh, and if you want to, could run that Magic uh, magic Cylinders, because why not? Um, if you do want to dig for more cards, Bujin Tetsuomi is honestly a really good uh, choice to run. You could, uh, essentially, you could just make him then discard whatever little bit you have in your hand, get a plus two. Or, uh, draw two. Um, and then, also, if you do, uh, if you, you could run, uh, Hip Hishonigan. I honestly, no matter what build I would play, I would at least run one of each, uh, of him and, uh, this guy. Just because you do have some options in case you want to go both, you could. Um... But I, I'd recommend, honestly, at least one of each. Um, I mean, it'd be nice. You could run, like, one, one two if you wanted, because he does have that. Uh, if he's destroyed by battle, you could uh, get something back if you really need it. But usually these guys just recycle. I just use them and recycle themselves. But um, And then something I thought would be pretty kind of fun and spicy is obviously the Barrier Statue of Light. Um, you know, just to essentially, like, stop you, stop your opponent from special summoning. Pretty, you know, nice little stun factor. Uh, if you are going to play stu uh, more of the, uh, kind of, like, stun thing, uh, you could run Denko Seca and, uh, Thunder King Ryo. I do have them, I just couldn't find them at the moment, uh, but uh, I do want to, uh, say this, uh, Danko Seca actually has gone up in price. Uh, she was at two dollars a little while ago. Now she's around three fifty. Um, so, if you're wanting to get Danko Secas, do it now before uh, before more uh, before the uh, Alter Geist uh, really make more of an impact and uh, Paleos since Trap Tricks out. Uh, because if those come out, if those become more of a meta deck, um, Danko Seca and Red Reboot definitely would go up, so now would be a good time to get them, and, uh, Thunder King Ryo is pretty cheap, only around, like, two dollars for a common, so, it's, it's a pretty budget deck, um, other than Watt Giraffe, really, but, uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are really nice and fun, pretty good, uh, pretty good and 
honestly pretty viable. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of my content when it comes out, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification button. Do four or five videos a week. Thank you guys for watching.